have no idea at all other than what the police officer and the detective told me that they uh, got from my husband. I think he told them that he whipped the boys or suspended them from school. One of the boys' parents brought him back to school and I don't know why he has reasons to believe that it was concerning that maybe he uh, he just didn't discuss it with me. He very seldom discusses school business with me. The council has two or three uh, decisions that can, they can make, one of them being to uh, put the budget as it is to the people, let them vote on it, or number two, to amend the budget, uh, reduce it, reduce the tax schedule, or uh, turn the budget back to the 68 figure and start all over again. Uh, there is a possibility that the, uh, it could be reduced if a sales tax was approved, which we've had a sales tax turned down twice in our city, and some of these most avid workers for this petition was one that fought the sales tax in the past. Well, I think the city made a mistake, Teal. I, uh, uh, I feel that the majority, or I know the majority of the citizens wanted uh, uh, more for our, uh, our safety program. Well, I took a pretty good hard look at the budget. Uh, the city manager went over it with me in some detail and uh, answered the questions I had in mind, which were very few. The people of Dallas, uh, especially the property owners, will remember this at the next city election. The budget as proposed included what I considered vital and necessary city services. And there was no way that I could see reducing this tax uh, package without reducing services. And, and this, I don't believe the, the, the citizens are ready for. Now, do you feel that, that skyjackings, unless they're stopped, could be a, a very, very large problem for us nationwide and as, worldwide. As they have been up to the present, excluding the last few days, for the most part it's been a sort of a genial itch, no great bother. The public's had a lot of laughter out of it, and the government's had a lot of furor and to do and a lot of important stamping around. But we can afford that kind of itch. It could turn into something far more dangerous. And this is, is the concern. What it could turn into could stop the commerce and industry of the nation and of the world.
As a matter of fact, it didn't occur to me to do it until just as a matter of coincidence in the performance of, of my regular duties, I chanced to see two men on the same day, back to back in four hour interviews, after which it was quite obvious that either I was looking at a, what in medicine we call a syndrome, or else I was looking at the Goldust twins. As much as they were alike, it then raised the curiosity, what would we see if we examined the rest of them? So we examined 18 more and began to see more and more, but beginning from the first little observation, which was sheer chance. Uh, the petition was circulated because a number of citizens in Haltom City felt that it was uh, too liberal in many respects, and especially uh, the salaries that was granted to the uh, uh, heads of departments. You think those salaries were exorbitant? Yes, I do. Now, the focus for Goals for Dallas will shift temporarily, if you will, to the organizations and their leaders responsible for achieving the goals. The 1970 University of Arkansas Razorbacks returned 30 lettermen, seven offensive and six defensive starters for the 1970 football year. Last year, they had a record of nine and two. In the conference, they were six and one, and they were fourth ranked nationally. Can that record be equaled, or can it even be beaten? Well, it might be if your coach's name is Frank Broyles. We're enthusiastic that our squad want to have a good football team. They're enthusiastic about uh, uh, working and uh, learning, and they have uh, uh, practiced diligently to, to be a better football team. So this is the first start. And the second start towards having a, a good football team is at the, having some returnees from the skilled positions and the special skilled positions, which we include the quarterbacks and receivers and running backs on offense, and we have most of these returning. On defense, we have uh, lost our skill positions, uh, which include the linebackers, special skills, I should say, of linebackers and defensive backs. So we've got to replace this. Now, in the 68 season, we had all of our defense returning, and we had to replace some offensive people, and our defense carried us. And this year, our offense has got to carry us in some of these positions while our defense is learning and getting adjusted to, to uh, the game conditions. How do you think you'll do against Stanford day after tomorrow here? Oh, boy. Stanford, a great football team. We started looking at their film in February, and we haven't stopped. We looked at it all summer, and we still don't know what to do against them. They can run, and they can throw. They've got uh, outstanding receivers, not just one, but three. They've got two great running backs and plunkety at quarterback. And so our defensive coaches are just, we're going to have to guess right. We're going to have to rush when they've got a deep pass call. We're going to have to defend when they're throwing short. And we're going to have to have eight-man line when they run if we're going to do it, uh, be successful. You feel John Richardson as your first black athlete will uh, do a good job for you? I sure do. John's a fine boy and he's a fine athlete and uh, he has uh, uh, done a good job for us. He's uh, close to being ready to play. He's playing behind a great football player in Bill Burnett, but we've had no qualms about putting him in the ball game. He's a good runner. From Razorback Stadium, Jerry Haynes for Channel 8 News. We are in support of Mrs. Higgins and the Block Partnership Group. Uh, their uh, 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 purpose, as I understand it, is to get uh, design changes on the highway that will make it acceptable to them uh, so that the highway will not depress property values, so that it will not serve as a breeding place for, be elevated and serve as a breeding place for crime and criminals, so that it will not disrupt the community so that it will provide some benefits to the people as well uh, as uh, those who will be traveling the highway. Our mail friend, Dona Mail, is ready to mail right now, the first day of, of uh, October, to everybody who registered last year a application to re-register. All they have to do is to sign their name to it and send it back and see any corrections in there. And then you get up here and say it's hard to register in Texas. The uh, primary concern that I have 
is that uh, perhaps some of our public officials uh, will oppose the changes because of the fact that we all know that it's easier to get elected to office if there's apathy among the voters or, or to get reelected if there's apathy among the voters if there isn't widespread interest in the campaigns that are taking place. Also, uh, legislators have been able to, in the House of Representatives, have been able to remove some of their strongest opposition, the opposition that was strong in the past, by holding the election in uh, May and June. You know, the game could most certainly go either way at any time in the game. Stanford has a tremendous uh, offensive team, and uh, Jim Plunkett is a, a great, great quarterback. He uh, has the ability to throw the ball extremely well, and they've got several, you know, good uh, uh, receivers to catch the ball. This uh, Vataha kid is an excellent receiver, and of course, their tight end, Bob Moore, does a splendid job. But uh, that's going to be for our defense to worry about, and not for me. So. I think uh, primarily our offense has to be concerned with uh, uh, a defense that last year was extremely tough against the running game and uh, experienced last year a, a little bit of difficulty against the pass, but uh, I think now uh, they've uh, seemingly, uh, with uh, the alignment that they uh, have reported and gone to now, they're trying to get a little more balance in their defense and uh, try to uh, give some support to their passing defense. So uh, I'm expecting Stanford to be much more balanced uh, uh, defensively. We're running out of a pro set this year with Veer T option, so that uh, they'll let Jack Mildren uh, and our fast backs and receivers uh, do what they can do best, and uh, we'll be real good on offense uh, and questionable on defense probably. Now Mildred had a great day against Iowa State last year didn't he? Yes he did. He uh, completed 13 passes for 221 yards against the Cyclones. Uh, two of those were to uh, wing back Jeff Nordgren uh, last year and, and Nordgren has since been moved to the secondary uh, where he'll play against SMU. And then uh, Jack also completed one here to uh, Steve Zabel are tied in uh, for 47 yards. He had a, that was probably his best day passing last year.